Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Now today I will be showing you the best Lunar Client settings for 2021. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to the settings branch uh, of the Lunar Client Launcher. Now, the first thing you want to do is if you do not have after launch, you should put it on high launcher. Now what this does is it keeps launcher open, however it doesn't take up a tile on your taskbar and you cannot see it. This is useful because if you want to launch the game again, it does not fully close. Now this is your launch directory, if I were you I would just keep it the same. Unless you are experienced at coding or file management, then I would keep it the same. So the next thing is allocated memory. Now if this is really low, I would advise you to up it. I would recommend at least 3 gigabytes just to allocate to your Luna client uh, because you do need quite a bit of memory to want to run Minecraft properly. However, if you do not have other apps, then it is important to not allocate your entire memory like this, but only allocate a good amount, which is around 3 gigabytes. This is your resolution to launch your gaming. This doesn't really matter. And if I were you, I would stick on the stable range so you do not get buggy features. So now on to game settings. Now if you don't know how to access this, you can click on the Lunar settings button here. Or if you're in a game, you should press right shift. So the first thing you want to do is obviously click on settings. Now I will go through all of these features, whether you should have them on or off, and why. So firstly, the replay mods. Now, if you want to make a cool cinematic out of your gameplay, or anything like that, I would advise turning on. But, generally just keep it off, and if you do want to do something specific, turn it on. Um, it does take a bit of your FPS away when you use it, so I just keep it off because I don't really know how to use the replay mods. But, you know, if you want to do something with it, turn it on. Now 1.7 visuals, I did a video on this, um, I think two days ago, and... Yep, you should keep it on, check that out if you want uh, to go into more detail on it. Now FPS, I keep it on just so I can see my FPS in game when I'm generally just looking at my frames and it helps me know you know, if I should some close some other apps or if I can keep them open because of my FPS. Now CPS, I keep this on. Uh, this is only because I sometimes do uh, streams and gameplay. So it kind of helps if you guys can see this. However, if I were you, it's your choice whether you turn it on or not. However, the one option that I would enable for CPS is um, showing right-click CPS. Now this is good because um, if, if you disable it, you see you can only see your uh, left-click CPS. However, if you turn it on, you can see your right-click as well. Now toggle sneak slash sprint, I will keep it off. Zoom, I would keep it on. What zoom does is basically when you press a certain key, it zooms in for you, which is good. Now, the main thing on this list is high pixel mods, which I would enable. Uh, you see auto GG is on. This helps you gain lots of karma. Auto friend automatically accepts friend requests. And anti GG hides all of the GGs. Obviously, you can change the colors of these things. Now, armor status I will keep on, as you can see in the bottom corner here, there are my armor status, what I've got in certain places, and you know what I might need, and how durable they are. Now, you can obviously change this um, a lot, you can also edit uh, the values for the armor, you can also edit how the scale of this, however, I, I'm just going to keep it at 1.0. Because uh, I like it that way. So the next thing is ski strokes. Again, this is because I do Minecraft videos and streams. I keep them on. Coordinates, I would turn them off for 1.8. However, if you're on one top 16, I would turn them on and put them in an optimal place. Day counter. Again, if you're doing a general Minecraft playing thing, if you're just playing Minecraft normally, I would turn it on. However, I have it off because I generally use 1.8 and Lunar Client more to play Hypixel. When I play um, normal Minecraft or modded Minecraft, I usually use mods. Now again, Crosser, I turn this on. This gives you a custom Crosser for Lunar Client. Um, there should be a video up on the corner right 
there if you want to see uh, me go into detail about it. Now potion effects I just have enabled so I can easily see my potion effects when I'm in PvP. Again, uh, Direction HDU, this helps me bridge just aligning where I'm looking uh, at the right place. Scoreboard, I would turn on, it just shows you, let's just say, whose bed's destroyed if you're playing Hack Pixel. <coughs> and if you're playing normally, this doesn't do anything. Waypoints, uh, they don't really matter, you can have them on or off, they don't really do anything. Again, Potion Counter, I would have off. Ping, I would have on, just so you know how good your internet connection or is or why it's lagging. Mushroom Blur, again, I would turn it off. Um, because it really does not help with game, it takes FPS and it increases input delay. <coughs> Chat I would have on, but one thing that I would do is put background occupancy to zero. This means that your chat uh, is purely there without any backgrounds to it. Scrollable tooltips um, I would have on. Now this just helps uh, because you can use your scroll wheel while screening over long item descriptions. And yeah, here is the overlay I have off. Article multiplier, uh, this is one that really depends on your situation. I personally have it uh, on because I just like when particles are increased by three times. You can obviously increase it by however much, up to 10 times. Um, and yeah. As you can see, I also have sharpness on, so whenever I hit someone, it looks like it's got the sharpness. Now, Nick Hider, I would have off. Again, cooldowns, I would have off. Well, edit, depending on what you're doing, you should either have on or off. If you're doing some creative mode things, you should have it off. Clock, stopwatch, and memory usage, I would have off. However, if you are worried about your memory, just put it on and drag it to an optimal place. Combo Hunter, I have on again because I do gameplay. If it's your choice, I don't. It doesn't really matter if you have it on. Again, some people do like this up there, um, just so they know what to look at and know what's happening. Some people don't. It doesn't really matter. All these things I would have off uh, for reasons that I hope I don't have to explain. Item tracker, I just have it off. However, what this does is it shows how much items you pick up and drop. Um, this generally helps in Skyward quite a bit. Now block up outline I have on. Uh, and what this basically does is it kind of adds an overlay to the block that you're pointing at and adds like an outline to it. Now obviously I don't have any block outline colours yet. I do have that on and I will customise that soon. However right now I don't and again I would advise you to have this on as well. FOV mod, uh, this just gives different FOVs for each thing, however, because I play on a really high FOV, I just prefer to have all FOVs at the top. Now the rest of these I would have off. Boss bar is really annoying when you play on high pixel, because it has, let's just say, a boss bar on and like that, and high pixel has lots of pop ups. Pack display, I would have off. Hitbox, you can enable with F3D, and you don't need to have that automatically on. Also, the last thing is tray look. What this does is when you press a certain key, you can look in a direction without actually turning in the direction. This is useful if you're like walking forward and you want to see what's happening behind you. Uh, you don't you don't have to F5 or change direction. You can just press whatever your gears, for me this is alt, and yeah, you can see it. Now again, team view shows where your teammates are on, teammates are on the HDU. I would have that on, and yeah, I think this is also massive on, because it doesn't really matter much. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that analysis of the Lunar Client settings and which ones you should have, and yeah, bye.